Hey guys, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we're at a farm working on a mid 2000s Massey Ferguson medium duty tractor. It is a crank, no start, and it just ran, according to the owner, not too long ago, and he parked it and it hasn't run since. So we're going to try to figure out what's wrong. Um, I don't, I'm not really familiar with diesel engines here. This is a three cylinder, I think a Japanese unit, you know, pretty, pretty modern. But I told him if he can get me a wiring diagram, I'd look into it. We got ourselves a wiring diagram right here. Just photocopied it. And it's fairly basic, but there are quite a few safety switches, the neutral switch, seat switch. There's this kind of a smart box that you know lets the engine crank. See there are two relays here, RS and RST. Uh, the RS, let's see, there's a starter. That's the RS relay. And then to stop this thing, when you turn the key off, that should connect this switch right here. And this guy activates. See, so pull coil, hold coil. And just from a visual inspection, it looks like it shuts off the high pressure fuel pump. So you can see there's the there are the lines that feed the fuel to the three cylinders and there's our coil so when you're cranking or running that should not be energized so the first thing I did was put a test light to uh, to ground and turn the key on and our test light is lit when we crank it it's still lit so I don't think that's supposed to be on right now and the easiest way to check is just to unplug the coil and see if this thing fires up so let's do that alright I'm on the harness side you can see our test lights bright but the connector is unplugged so let's crank it see what happens now to shut this down <laughs> I'm gonna have to plug that back in because otherwise it'll keep running Now let's see, do we need glow plugs for this thing? Okay. How do you make the glow plugs glow, Ken? There's a little light there? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see it right there, yep. We'll crank it again. Nope, we're still, uh... Still a crank no start, so this is more interesting than uh, than a bad fuel, you know, pump shutoff coil. So uh, I'll see where we go from here. So just to check the obvious things here, there's definitely fuel in the tank. Our fuel pump's running. You can actually hear the return here dribbling back in. So, I want to know how this fuel uh, shutoff coil works and if we're actually getting high pressure fuel to, um, you know, to the injectors. So that's the next check. So I cracked this high pressure line fitting. So we're going to see if we get sprayed with fuel here. You want to crank it? Didn't see anything. So there, now the fitting's completely off. Our line is just sitting there. All right, crank it again. Nope, nothing. That's the problem. We have no fuel pressure, no high pressure to the injectors. Now, I want to take this bleeder off and see if we have, you know, low, the low pressure side's good. And, you know, if that's, if that's good, then uh, there's not much else to do. This uh, high pressure pump is not doing its thing. 
Well, we definitely have fuel coming out of this bleeder nipple. We don't even have to crank it, just turn the key on. Oh, well, there we go. It's squirting. Here, crank it one more time, Ken. Nope. Nope, we're not getting anything out of the high pressure line. So let's uh, maybe read up on this fuel pump, see if there's any info in the service manual. Go from there. Now, actually, I just thought of something. That uh, engine shutoff coil that's on the pump, maybe that's supposed to be on when you know the key is on and we're definitely getting power to those two wires but what if that coil itself isn't you know doing its thing and the pressure just isn't building so I think that might be our issue so I plugged it back in we're gonna crank it one more time see if uh, see if that pressure builds and if it doesn't then we'll go after that coil All right, we have to see if this coil is actually moving inside the high pressure pump. So now we're measuring the current going through the two windings in that shutdown coil. And they are right here. There's a pull coil and a hold coil. And it looks like there's a little timer, you know, internal regulator there. So uh, here's one wire. We have it re-zeroed, so go ahead and uh, turn the key on, okay, aha, uh -huh. we got nothing on that wire, turn the key off, on again, off, alright, I like that, and now the second feed wire, right there, alright, key on, okay, we got half an amp on that one, turn it off, Okay, now uh, no, that's, that's definitive. So one of these windings, we had no current going through. So even if the whole coil works, if the pull coil does not, that solenoid does not actuate. Um, so the last check we can do before condemning this, that coil is to do a, uh, just a continuity check on the wire work where we didn't see any current and then uh, that'll be it maybe we can pull it off and see what's going on but that is I'm 99% sure that's our issue I just have to try to order one yep all right well here's the proof of the problem we got the plunger out out of the high pressure pump it's definitely soaked in oil or diesel but when you turn the key on go ahead Ken nothing happens. I mean, I can do it again. Ah, I see. Okay, do it again. Uh-huh, and again. So if I put, so keep the key on. So look at this. I push it in with my finger, pretend I'm the pulling coil, right to there, then it stays in. As soon as you turn the key off, right there, it comes out. But when you turn the key on, well, that time it worked. Okay, off, on. Okay, we might have uh, at least temporarily fixed this. On. Ah, see, that time it didn't pull in, but if I help it with my finger, it'll stay in. Key off, perfect. That's, uh, that's all it is. So, when your key is on and it's ready to to run this plunger you know gets pulled in and we shut the key off it comes out and you know disables the high pressure fuel pump so maybe we can bypass this thing uh, let's say if we take this out well I want to see what's inside of here but you know if this uh, 
I don't know if it needs to seal the actual fuel here or not. Or we can, you know, turn the key on, push it in with a finger, and then reinstall it and, you know, make the tractor run. That'll prove the concept and we just need one of one of these things. Well, let's see what happens if we just crank it and hopefully it'll start. Uh, to shut it off, I'll need to push that plunger in and it's, you know, you can easily do it with your finger. I'm just hoping the fuel won't spray everywhere, but if it does, it's all right. All right, Ken, go ahead and crank it. Blow it or just crank? Just crank it over. Oh, 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 oh. there you go. Woo! If you shut it off, all I need to do is push that in with my finger. Let's try again. I forgot to reconnect that high pressure line. That's why I was only running on two cylinders. <laughs> Let's uh, reconnect that and uh, make sure it runs good. Starting fuel. Yep. To see if it would start and pick up the fuel. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking it was the plunger. I was thinking. Uh huh. So if it started on starting fuel and then stalled out, right. then see, you prove the concept. It used to be like a, when I drove tractor and trailer years ago. Yeah. If you run one out of fuel. Uh huh. They would come out and uh -huh. they would start them with ether. With ether. They'd just keep pounding the yep. ether. <laughs> and then when it picked up, uh -huh. it would grab the fuel that you put in. Okay. And then it would, it would get going. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Yep. All right. So now we have the pressure line tightened down. Let's give it another, another go. to put your finger in the hole and push that plunger in to shut it off. <laughs> and there's our plunger, so it should be in this position right now. I, I don't see it. Okay. There's how you shut it off. That's all you gotta do, just push in the plunger. Neat. All right, confirmed diagnosis. Uh, once we put the part in, it'll run like new. We won't need to confirm the repair, but uh, thanks a lot for watching. Thank you, Ken, for uh, letting me play around with the tractor, and uh, uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.